How do I back up before a Windows 10 upgrade? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com, where I've been answering questions about technology and encouraging you to back up since 2003. So if you're about to update your operating system, that's a pretty major change, be it the monthly uh, security and updates or the every half year feature update, or if you're actually upgrading from one version of Windows like Windows 7 to Windows 10, that's a pretty major thing. I have long recommended that the thing you do immediately prior to doing such an upgrade is to take a complete system image backup. The reason I focus so much on what I call a system image backup is that it is an image of everything on your hard drive. That means it includes the operating system, all of your applications, all of your settings and customizations, and of course, all of your data. Without having to think about what to back up, you're simply backing up everything. Now, I do suggest that you do so before major changes of any sort. This video, of course, is focusing on Windows 10 updates, but honestly, anytime you're about to make a major change to your system, this is something I recommend you do. The reason is very, very simple. If something goes wrong with the update or the upgrade, this represents an undo. In other words, if things just don't work or you don't like the result of your update or upgrade, you can simply restore this backup image and be back where you were before the backup was taken. So it is something that I so strongly recommend simply because it's your ultimate safety net. I recommend you use an external drive. In other words, when you create a system image backup, you create that image file or you have your backup software, write that file to an external drive, something that is outside of your machine. It is generally good practice for backups anyway, but specifically for these scenarios, that's something that you can then save for some later time when perhaps you suddenly realize that that upgrade really wasn't what you wanted. Now, the question of course is, what do I do if I need this? How do I recover if I want to do that undo you talked about? Well, there is a little bit of preparation, but fortunately it's the kind of a thing that you actually don't have to do before you take the backup. How it works is simply this. You create a rescue or recovery disk using the software that you used to back up. If you're using Windows 10's built-in backup, you can use the original installation media if you have it, or you can create a recovery disk. If you're using backup software like ESUS To Do or Macrium Reflect, they include a specific task that will create a recovery or rescue or emergency disk. They're all really the same thing, different terms for different software. You would then boot from this rescue media instead of booting from Windows itself. That rescue media then would allow you to restore the backup image that you had created to your hard disk in one step. Here's the thing, 99 times out of 100, you will never need to use this backup. 99 times out of 100, everything will work just fine. 99 times out of 100, you'll eventually be happy with the result if it just happens to be a matter of taste. But the bottom line is most of the time you really don't need this. It's that 1%, that one time out of 100 or one out of 1,000 where something really does go wrong and you want to be able to recover, you want to be able to restore, then you'll be incredibly glad that you took the time to take that image back up before the upgrade or update. Now, again, to be completely honest, none of this should be new. In fact, it's very possible you don't have to do a thing. Here's why. If you've been following my recommendations over the years, you already have a system image backup in place. You've got it happening nightly. Every night you're taking system image backups. You may be doing a full backup once a month followed by daily incrementals, but that's an image backup. And if you're doing it daily, as I recommend, that means that if today 
you happen to install something that completely trashes your system without having to do a thing, you've got yesterday's backup to go back to. So if you're already backing up, if you're already following my recommendation of doing system image backups of some sort every day, you may not need to take any additional steps. But if you're not, or if you're backing up less frequently, which is certainly a very valid approach to backing up, then immediately prior to those major system changes like Windows feature updates, take that backup image just in case. For the article on which this video was based, for a number of related articles, including specific how-to steps, for updates and comments, visit askleo.com 19932. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.